Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. This is Sorority Sisters uh, Season 1, Episode 2. This has been a week, I'm telling you. For the last seven days, it has really been an issue where there's been a lot of uh, folks that are in sororities. They have come together with petitions and everything like that, trying to have this show pulled off of the air. And I can understand it. I mean, I can understand it because it's not really showing them in the best light. It really doesn't. Um, though, you know, this is what I do. I review. The messier they are, the more kick I get out of it. So, you know, it is what it is. But I definitely understand the are my folks that are actually in sororities not caring for this and not caring for what it's actually showing. <clears throat> so I could definitely respect that. But I will keep reviewing the show as long as it comes on because, again, I get a kick out of it. It is just messiness, and it really is a bunch of fuckery, you know. Um, it's messy. It really, really is. It's messy, and it looks like it's going to just continue to get messier until they get it to fuck off of the screen. But, okay, so we're here, so let's just go on in. Um, we first, we got Victoria and a dream. They're actually, their little friendship is really getting to be a little thing. Yeah, they're really hanging out a lot. And it seems as though, on one hand, a dream wants to kill the the fight back and forth between her and April. But on the other hand, she kind of enjoys it. She kind of enjoys that she keeps coming out on the top. You know, because April don't know how to fight with, with a dream. She really don't. Um... So, that's kind of just that. Uh, next, we see Priyanka and Toya. Priyanka, I just think, is just a loud mouth. You know, she's a loud mouth. She's ghetto. You know, she's a stripper. That's a, she's, you know, a stripper. And not the, not the better stripper. She's a stripper. She's not an exotic dancer. She's not a burlesque dancer. She's a fucking stripper. You know, she got the whole ghetto attitude. She's always ready to pop off, always ready to fight. She's a fucking hot ass mess. Um, and she's big. You know, she's she's a big, thick old girl, you know? She's messy. And she uses that to try to intimidate people. And um, it's ridiculous. That hairdo that I just can't do that hairdo. She looks so fucking ridiculous with that hairdo. And it's just glued in. The tracks are glued backwards. And then she then threw them on over the side. I'm like, girl, that's ugly. That is ugly. $20 worth of motherfucking synthetic hair with one bag of uh, human on top. Get on out of here. You look crazy, bitch. Anyway, her and Toya sit down. She brings Toya up to speed on this audition that's actually coming up. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so they're going to be going to do the audition. Um, next, we actually see Tabby Reed, who is a blogger down in Atlanta. She literally uh, was interviewing April. April is such a fucking idiot that she sat there the whole time. And instead of advertising herself and what she has going on, she literally gave her whole interview up to a dream. Like I said, she doesn't know how to fight with a dream because she's an idiot. So she literally, instead of talking about herself, she was being shady, being messy, and she literally gave the whole interview up talking about that little situation that happened with a dream. My thing is, I'm seeing April, anybody that will listen to the story, she wants to tell it to them. And she starts from the beginning. Fuck, it happened. Let it go. This is your time to shine. But you just gave that whole interview to a dream. You know, she didn't say a dream's name, but everybody knew who the fuck she was talking about. You gave your whole interview to a dream, you fucking idiot. Anyway, moving on. Um, next we see Metoya and Nick, who is her baby's father. Um, Jordan, which is her little girl, and then a dream. They were out. Doing like family time. That's when you could actually see how much a dream is like infused into Matoya, Matoya's life at this point. You know, she was out actually out with them for family time and they were doing this little baseball thing. It was cute. Now, that was something positive. It was actually, it was cute. Um, and then she was saying, you know, that um, her daughter Jordan had actually really taken a liking to a dream. So I don't know if she's working with her on some different things or whatever. But that was positive and that was cool. And that was cute. That was nice to see. Um, moving on, April actually um, received a phone call 
when she was out with another girlfriend. I can't think of the girl's name, but she was out with this girl. And again, going through this whole story, the girl was willing to let that God knows that she was willing to tell the story. And baby, she told the story from the beginning. She was telling the story. So her phone rings. It's a dream. She's real shady. Who is this? So, 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 so. Ridiculous. She got this new little haircut. Real thick looking, real. It's very throwback, Josephine Baker. Um, it has the potential to be nice. It needs some of it needs thinned out. It's, it's a little too, it's a little too thick. It looks quite wiggy. Um, but anyway, she's sitting there being shady, but she accepts the invitation to go to the Greek tea that um, Adrena is throwing. It's a Greek tea, it's, so it's like all the sororities um, are going to be there, and it's like a meet and greet uh, networking luncheon. Um, Metoya already had told her during she didn't agree with her inviting April, but she said she was going to invite her, so it was what it was. They went, when we get to the tea, it's real cute and everything. Um, nobody had anything on that really was jumping out saying anything at all. Um, the two of them, April and a drink, went right into that bullshit. Like, literally, they started that fucking argument all over again. Now, it's only the second weekend. I'm getting a little tired of this same argument between these two. Like, I'm really sick of This is like three, four functions now. Y'all are having the same argument. What the fuck? That's ridiculous. Grown women. Grown professional women. Squash that shit. Squash it and move on. Either you all are going to let that go and try to build something, or y'all just going to be enemies. But that same old argument at every function, y'all are turning the function out? Really? It's ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, then we actually once, and th this was the shit. She told, a dream told April, er, let me stop you. This is not what we're here for. So I'm going to tell you to go ahead and take a seat, and we're going to move on, or whatever. So, oh, no, I'm not ready to take a seat. She says, honey, listen, you can either sit down, or you can get out. <laughs> See, <laughs> that a dream's a motherfucker. You can't, she can't win. April doesn't know how to win with a dream, because when a bitch tells you, you can sit down or you can get out, where do you, where do you go with that? Now, what do you do now? Flip, and like she said, she sat down and told her girlfriend, I'm ready to start flipping tables. And that just shows who you are. You're a fucking goon. You're a goon. You know, you were supposed to eat that bitch and roll. That's what you were supposed to do. You know what? Thank you for inviting me. I've got to go. But you're not going to tell me what to do. But literally to sit there for another hour or so, you were a fool. A fool. And what she ended up doing, she... um. They sat at the table. Shayna actually came in, which is the Caucasian girl who is a Delta. She looked she looked nice. I mean, her little makeover, it was okay. But they, she was looking decent. Um, they start going back and forth, and they were doing little the little race car. Toya was shady. Um, April was very shady. Child, Shayna reads, baby. Shayna gave her. She said, girl, I like your dress, but you truly look like one of the founders, honey, with that hairdo and that dress. Child gave her, you old-looking bitch, get out of my face, honey. Um, just messy. But anyway, all in all, when it got all the way done, she literally, that damn Adrian got up, and she got her one more time, baby. She started talking about the blog situation. <laughs> talking about professional women and she's glad everybody came to that together and then literally pointed out, you know, but some of us are not professional. Some of us don't know how to handle themselves. They go run to the blogs and say different things about other professional women, put her right on the spot. And of course she bought the, you know, bought the bait, got all upset and laughed and said it was ghetto and this, that, because everybody knew exactly who she was talking about. You don't know how to win with a dream. You need to work on that. And until you figure it out, Bitch, stop going to things that she invites you to because you're looking like a goddamn goon. Anyway, moving forward. Okay, the next part of the show, we actually saw the dance audition. They went to the dance audition, Priyanka and Toya, and they look up and lo and behold, here comes Veronica. Now, they had already been like 
going at the fact that Veronica does all these different jobs and oh, you must be a pageant queen and all of this, they're being shady to her at the T. Um, and they just kind of continue that on. And they started doing the little moves and following the choreographer. Like I said, Priyanka was a fool during this goddamn uh, the girl just tripping all over her feet and she's just just too much. She's very drag queenish. You know, she too much hair, too much this, that, and the other. She had this little top on with these little jewels glued on it, honey, from Joanne Fabrics, and just just ugh. And not to say, you know, I don't, of course, you know, I love drag queens. I'm, I am a drag queen or female impersonator or perform, perform, whatever you want to call me. That's what I am. But, um, she's very the downscale. Everything's so cheap, very mall drag. You know, these old plastic stones and she just, just very drag, cheap drag. Just so that we're clear. Um, a mess, really a mess. Too much hair, too much makeup, too much eyelashes. She's a big bitch. Like I said, she's big. She is very thick. And she's not just a thick, shapely girl. That bitch got meat that moves. Um, she's where she's leaping, she's coming down to the ground like a ton of bricks. Bitch, I shouldn't hear you. When you hit the floor, I shouldn't hear you, sweetheart. You should hit the floor gracefully, not uh, uh, you know, she is a stripper, not a burlesque dancer, you know, not some beautiful butterfly. She's a fucking stripper. Um, she just could not keep up. She just looked a mess. She really looked a mess. Um, she didn't get the job. She really didn't. Uh, the other two, Veronica actually got it and Toya actually got the job. Now, before when they were waiting to see who was actually being p chosen, I got very irritated because Toya, when we first saw you, bitch, you came into the show given, I don't know what we're going to eat and it's so bad. I don't have any money and this, that thing and the other. You literally sat over there with Priyanka and read and acted nasty and going to tell the girl she's bougie and all of this. And do you eat at the Waffle House? And she said, yes, I eat at the Waffle House. I don't believe you. I'm going to need to go to the Waffle House to see you actually eat a waffle. Bitch, who are you? Who are you? And the thing is, bitch, if we go by what it was that you said when you first came in, bitch, how can you go to the Waffle House and eat a waffle, bitch? Because last we heard, you were trying to figure out whether or not you were going to have oodles and noodles or a motherfucking uh, Captain Crunch souffle for dinner, bitch. So now you're going to the Waffle House, bitch? Really? the fuck out of here. But I'm glad the whore got the job and everything like that. But how can you stand up and talk shit about how somebody else makes their hustle when you ain't got no hustle? A fucking mess. A fucking mess. And I am one, like I said, I sew. I do hair. I have books on the market. Baby, trust me. I don't have to choose one of those things to do. I do customer service. I don't have to choose one of them. Trust me. Everything I do ends up in green, and that's how I make my living. I don't have to choose, one, whatever talent you have that'll bring money into your household, that's what the fuck you need to do. Everybody who has a household actually knows that multiple streams of income is definitely the way to go. But see, she probably don't know that either, because she don't even have her own place. That bitch lived with somebody else. Boom, and on that, thumbs up or thumbs down the video, guys. I'm done. Okay? I'm done. Off the soapbox, but on bump, bump, bam. And let's move on. I will catch you guys next week if this shit is still here. <laughs> okay? Bye, guys.